iOS 18 gives us the biggest update ever to iOS customization. And in this video, I'm going to guide you through all of the new ways you can customize your iPhone in iOS 18. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Let's be honest, iOS has been notoriously boring when it comes to customization, but in iOS 18, finally, we get customization features that iOS users have been wanting for quite some time. And what I love about iOS 18 customization is how easy Apple has made it. Theming your iPhone no longer requires shortcuts or paid apps to get the home screen to your desire. And we're gonna start on the home screen right now. Go ahead and long press on the home screen and there's a new edit button. And when you select it, you get two options, add widget and customization. And as far as it goes for widgets, there are some new home screen widgets there's new widgets for health, overnight vitals, weekly vitals, and cycle tracking. For Apple Fitness, there's a new training load widget. And for journal, there's a new entry widget in both small and medium sizes. Now, if I long press the home screen again, select edit, then customize. And in this section, there's all new controls to theme your iPhone. First, you can make your home screen wallpaper light or dark, which I think is really nice. Next, you can make your icons bigger, which takes away the app icon name, and I think it looks pretty clean. There's the classic iOS look if you select light, and there's a new dark option to turn your apps into dark mode. There's also an automatic mode to switch apps automatically to light or dark mode. And the biggest change is that you can change the colors of your icon to any color you'd like if you select the tinted option. There's a color wheel to select the color, and an opacity wheel to determine the vibrancy of that color. Also, if you tap on this icon here, you can select any color that's on your current wallpaper and get the desired color that you want. What's nice is all the apps are tinted to the color in widgets as well. And maybe the apps could use some work and improvements, but some of the widgets I think look really nice and it's a welcome change to iOS. Back on the home screen, you can move your app icons wherever you'd like on the screen which Apple finally did. They did it. It's 2024, but yay, they did it. You might have to play around with it a little bit to get your apps to the most aesthetically pleasing place, but it can be a lot of fun, especially if you have wallpapers that you want to show the image on. I think it's a really neat thing that you can do and make your setup look even better. And lastly, if you long press on your home screen and you want to adjust the size of your widget without having to go into the widget section, you can shrink or expand the size of the widget. If you long press on an icon, you can also see that there's a size option of apps and widgets that you can select. So you can go from the app to the small, medium, and large widget. And this makes customization, in my opinion, a lot easier and quicker. And those are the new ways you can customize your home screen in iOS 18. If you like this kind of video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. As always, guys, thanks for watching. God bless, and I will see you on the next video.